Hello, Namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Greet Arrow. So, how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope it's an amazing day for you. So, if you're new here, if you like my content, please support my channel. So, the topic for today is from B Spirit. Your harvest is coming soon. So, let's see what are you harvesting. So, as you can see, there are three images. So, choose intuitively. One, two, three. Take your time. Pause the video if you need to and then choose. Other timestamps will be in the description box and i will see you in your group group number one this is the image that you've chosen let's see what is the message from b spirit your harvest is in a sneer so what are you harvesting group number one so i'm very attracted to the heart your heart is safe okay so if you have been handling something with a uh, with a lot of nourishment compassion that thing is going to grow so if you have been like when a mother gives birth to a baby she's handling the baby with a lot of care she is nurturing she is giving all her love right and the baby thrives like that only something that you have been handling very very carefully you you're giving all your energy to this thing it can be your occupation it can be something that you want to create or uh, something some sort of creative project it is or uh, maybe something maybe a hobby maybe I'm even get, getting pottery. Maybe you have been working on some sort of items. You're, uh, you're making it with a lot of love. It's fragile. It can break. So you're just focusing your energy on that thing. You're nurturing it and it's going to grow. So that's what it is. Uh, so let's see. What is what is your harvest? Uh, wow. Let's see. What, what are you harvesting? Group number one. What are you harvesting? Group number one. Oh, look. Staying focused, hold the course. So whatever you're dreaming, it's happening, guys. So again, this person is just focused on their goals, right? That's what their main focus is. And I was talking about that. You're nurturing something. You ha you're loving. You are in love with this thing. It can be about taking care of a baby, nurturing a baby. You're just focused on focused on that. You're taking care of it. You're doing all the things. Because it's like a little bit fragile. This thing that you're handling is a little fragile, right? And you have to give your attention to it. And you're just giving the attention to it. And that's going to grow. So, so you are giving attention to certain things in your life right now. And that's growing for you guys. That's what you're harvesting. So stay focused. If it's your studies, right? You're just focusing on it. You're giving the love. You're getting your time. You're nurturing it. You're, you're nurturing it with your time, right? You're uh, avoiding gatherings because you want to study. You're just focusing. That your, your priority is that right now, right? You're handling it with very care because there is a lot to do. So, you know, sometimes when we don't handle it with care, like our studies, what happens is, we get distracted, we, uh, we waste a lot of times by scrolling through social media. So you are very aligned with your goals. So you're, uh, you, are, you have made up your mind that this time I'll just focus on my studies. I'm not going to play at that time. No, no mobile near me. Maybe you're doing that kind of thing, right? You're just preparing well for something. You're holding the course. And this is fragile thing. Because if you're not taking action on it every day, if you're not um, attending to it, it will break right for example a child small child when you newborn you have to handle with them with care you have to feed two hours it's a lot of work right and you have to dedicate yourself to it in order for a healthy baby we need that we need to do that right and once we're doing that we are getting the results so again examination at that time you know you are preparing for an examination you need to Give your attention to it. You need to hold the course. You need to uh, sacrifice the gatherings. You need to sacri sacrifice mo watching movies uh, because this is the priority. This is what you want to grow in your life. So, so threat careful, thoughtfully. You, I feel like you're already doing it. Keep on doing it because this will happen. So, if you are not, you know, if you're not losing focus, if you keep, if you keep on moving forward, if you're handling it with care, this thing is going to grow. You're going to get what you want. So that's what the message is. So let's see. Okay. So this can be about your work as well. We need to dedicate our work, right? Every day we have to. If you have a pottery, you need to go go there. Every day you need to create something. Then only you can sell. And then only people will know about it. And then only you will get more sales like that. So yeah. So if you are doing it already, keep on doing it. Handle with care right now because you are going to get what you want. So let's see. This is now the time to just stay focused on this one goal, particular thing that is a little bit fragile right now. I, I'm getting the word fragile. It's fragile right now. If you lose it, it's going to break. So you need to handle with care. Keep on moving forward with it. 
then you will get it okay so nothing has decided it nothing has been decided right so maybe you have been asking whether i will get this job or whether i will have this thing whether i'll pass this examination nothing has been set right now it's up to you how your energies are going to be are you dedicating yourself if you're dedicating if you're not uh, you know if you're not uh, just getting distracted if you're just focusing on the positive things like only just focusing on this thing being very positive you're going to get it no matter what so it's up to you so let's see what else spider again weaving right spider weaves the web and you are here to weave the web you're here to make your dreams come true for that you have to have to do the hard work like this spider is weaving the web right so you will have to weave it if you want to get it if you want to make it right now it's the time to make it so if you have a business right you are starting this new idea this project you have to dedicate it yourself to it because right now it's fragile right now it's it's going to break uh, you will not get the results if you're not putting that effort look the spider is putting the effort it's weaving right like like that you will have to weave and once you start weaving 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 then you will get that you will get the results yeah that's what the message is here so it's up to you that's what spirit is telling you it's up to you so be again you know a glass when we are holding a glass of water if it's it's made of a glass if you're not if you're not focusing on that glass if you're just distracted and if you're uh not for concentrating there is a high chance that the glass might fall down and it will break like that's the situation here for you guys right now so whatever you want to do whatever you want to achieve it's definitely possible for you guys you need to keep on weaving though you need to keep put you need to put the effort you need to just hold the course this one thing should be your priority this is if you have a goal in your mind right now passing this examination or uh, increasing your sales whatever it is that's the only thing if you are a mother just focus on taking care of the baby right nurture it with love and it's going to grow beautifully so this is the time to have more positive faith towards your dreams not only positive faith you need to do the action you need to take the action as well okay so let's see and once you do that you will get what you what you're desiring and for many of you you are already you have a goal right now i feel like you're working towards it keep on doing it keep on doing it keep on weaving because the dreams that you're weaving you will get the result you will get something out of it again when we weave something right we're going to get the last piece like that you will get what are you harvesting very soon so i feel like you need to give all your attention no and all your energy to this thing only for some days uh, yeah whatever you want aiming for if it's an examination whatever it is uh, just examination or a job that you're preparing for whatever you're preparing for don't let anything else distract you right now this is the only thing that you need to focus that's what spirit is telling you because this is the time to do it you know after you finish this thing you will have time for fun as well so this is not the time to do that okay be very very disciplined with this thing again this person is looking for someone if the moment he distract maybe this person will go maybe the thing that is looking might go and he might miss the chance right so that's what it is Wow. Okay, relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. Again, this is a relationship. If this is a relationship, the relationship also needs nourishment, right? If you are entering a relationship, be focused on it. Be committed to it. uh i don't know why i'm getting like maybe for some of you like i ah, ah, i'll enter this relationship then i have two more options no don't be like that okay just it you know sometimes we people do that like we we have not starting a relationship with uh, we, maybe it's just a test and we are testing two three people like which is when better we will go uh, this is not the time for that okay if you're if you're 
committing to something or someone, just that one thing, nothing else. That's what spirit is telling you right now. I feel like that's what the energy is. So again, it's if it's a relationship that you're entering right now, this should be your main priority. This is the only person that you need to uh, be focused on. This is the time for nourishment. This is the time to weave that thing, the life you want with this person. This is, you know, again, relationship takes uh, effort. Every day we have to show up. Every day we have to commit to this person. Uh, it's easy to get distracted, right? So that's what the message is here. Again, again otherwise this relationship will be fragile. It can break at any time. Hmm. So if you want to have that good relationship, if you want to have anything, yeah, you need to weave. You need to work hard on it. You need to be positive about it. That's what I feel like the message is here. So... Sometimes it's like we people are, we have a dream of having a relationship. Like I want to get into a relationship. And then we are like looking at two, three options. And then first I will look at this and I will do, or maybe two, two, three times I will see at people. Maybe I'm in a relationship, then I will go see other person. That all is not going to work. Uh, it will break, right? So what you need to do, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm just getting that scenario. I'm reading energy and this is what I'm feeling. So I'm sharing. Uh, it has, you know, it can be a relationship with your work, right? With your commitments, anything it can be. With food as well, with diet as well. It can be anything. So if you want to lose weight, you need to be very focused. You cannot go and eat out regularly, eat pizza every day and uh, uh, get that w uh, healthy weight that you want. No, you cannot, right? So it can be anything. So that's what I'm seeing here. That's, that's, I'm just saying metaphorically. Good. Yeah, understand that, okay? So I hope you go ahead. So let's see what else. So once you commit to this thing, you will get the results. That's what Spirit is telling, telling you. It's up to you here and in this thing you will learn a lot when we are committed again for some of you this can be really learning okay <laughs> again teaching learning uh, focusing on your studies right now you if you have a dream if you want to uh, get that dream you will have to work right so again if you want to be a pilot you have to learn the things you have to be very focused on it sometimes we will have to do the hard work then only we are going to get the results right with this five for some of you this can be about um, passing an examination or maybe you are you want to qualify for a government job or something like that so right now this time is for you guys to dedicate on only that thing yeah you can take free time but sometimes you know uh, social media can be a distraction don't allow that okay uh, whenever you are uh, getting too distracted, uh, remind yourself that this is my goal right now and if I stay on course, if I hold on to this thing, I'm going to get it no matter what. Again, marriage also, yeah, marriage, sometimes getting married, after getting married, you are having second thoughts. Uh, yeah, it's very easy, you know, sometimes, I'm not saying that it's, if it's a bad relationship, yes, we need to let go of it, but sometimes, you know, sometimes we need to understand that uh, things take effort, things take effort. Uh, time sometimes in a relationship we need to show up every day it's it's a work right it takes effort it's hard work right so don't let go of someone because you feel like they're difficult you know sometimes it's important to express it sometimes it's important to have that communication so if you are in love with this person you need to put that effort you need to learn you, yeah, as, as you go in this marriage, you will have to learn a lot of things and you need to show up every day. You need to commit every day. So yeah, uh, don't be distracted. If you want this to move forward, don't be distracted to hold the course because this is up to you. For some of you, listen to elders as well. Yeah, look, we have five of swords here. Again, look, their heart is whole. Sometimes it can be about our past as well. Past might be coming back. Past failures might be coming back to haunt us. And we are like, oh my God, I cannot do it. And we get distracted. We focus on the past. Oh, in the past, this relationship like happened. In, you know, in the past, this relationship didn't work out. Maybe this relationship will not work out. So we bring that negative feelings to this relationship. Don't do that. Don't bring your past to your present here. Just stay focused on the present. This is your goal. Just focus on that and, and uh, do the hard work. 
that's required from your part. Again, pass it, failing an examination, many of you might have failed this examination a lot of times and you're trying it again and then this thought will haunt you, right? When, oh, what if last time I failed, this time also I might fail. You know, um, when we are cracking some sort of big examination, um, it can happen, right? And don't let this uh, past failures that has put a hole, all in your, hole in your heart uh, take your power away and uh, um, make you distracted because fear can make us distracted don't let that happen okay because this is the time to only focus on what you want to grow guys with this eight of pentacle dedicate your time do the best guys i feel like for some of you this can be about uh, examination this can be about getting into a job uh, or maybe this is a goal this is a project of yours only stay focused or even if it's a relationship, just stay focused because you will get the results that you want. So that's what I'm getting here because it's up to you. If you lose track, if you just get distracted, this might not happen. Yeah, I feel like that's the message that's coming very strongly for you guys here. And and once, look, we have this uh, four-leaf clover. And if you're focused, if you're doing your best, you will have the harvest. You will get the results that you want. Passing an examination, yes. Getting the job, yes. Re relationship is thriving, yes. This project is thriving, yes. Everything will happen. So let's see. But here spirit is saying again like the spider, you cannot stop in middle, right? If you stop in middle, you will not be able to complete the weaving, right? That's what it feels like. You will not be able to get that dream. You need to put the effort. Okay. So yeah. Uh, beware of self-delusion. Self yeah, sometimes, you know, we get... Uh, get like oh this is not happening this didn't happen in our past you know sometimes we can get into that energy so this time no okay don't let your past failures don't take your past past don't take your past failures with you whatever it is guys if it's an examination don't let that take you uh, take don't take that past things that's that's something is a problem i feel like for some of you kind of dwell in the past failures and this is the time to release that, let go of that belief. You know, sometimes when we keep on failing many times, we have a belief system that it's not possible, that no matter how much hard work I do, nothing will come out of it. That kind of belief system, if you have, it's time to let go of. Or maybe for some of you have a belief system, some people, even without trying, they get that. I'm trying so hard, but I'm not getting it. Or maybe, maybe there is a person who is studying with you and they don't put that much effort and you're like, oh my God, they don't put that much effort but they are getting it but i put too much effort i will never get it like these all things if you have in your mind let go of these are the belief system that is actually stopping your success as this is the these are these kinds of belief systems are actually this kind of uh, snake poisonous snake it's a poisonous snake right it can sabotage everything so don't do that okay so again, be more positive regarding this thing. That's very important. Don't let these thoughts come. And whenever these thoughts come, don't suppress it. Actually acknowledge it why you're feeling like that. And acknowledge that emotion and release that. The more you acknowledge, then only you will be able to release it. If you don't have a problem, you know, if you are just suppressing the problem, how are you going to find the solution? So you need to not suppress it. Rather, I, this is an emotion I'm feeling. Now, when I saw this person, uh, they, I felt something. Why I felt that, right? Oh, because they passed that examination the first time, but I didn't. So maybe I'm feeling that kind of jealous. And it's not, they, they did something. It's because I felt, because of my failures, right? You're acknowledging that and releasing it. And just staying focused on what you want to achieve. That's what will get will will make you yeah <clears throat> oh wow january by january if you are staying course i feel like by january you will get this thing maybe this is something uh, by january or maybe there is an examination by january or maybe by ex uh, january you will get the results something like that by january you will get it you will look again you will hear the good news if you're staying on course <laughs> so that's what i'm getting that might be that might be very specific the january maybe yeah Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Again, don't allow anyone, anyone come in between your goals, okay? Anyone. Don't take any, you know, there might be people who will gossip you, tell you this is tough, that, blah, blah, blah. No, this is not the time to focus on them. No, this is the time to focus only on your goals, right? 
that's that's very important again this can be people this can be friends don't waste your energy this is the time to just focus on this this one thing that you want your dream whatever it is and if it's an examination yeah maybe <laughs> just focus on that <coughs> because this is very fragile right uh, we have secret admirer oh wow so again with this ways you know secret admirer maybe people will be admiring you uh, for your hard work or maybe there is a someone like it can be like you know if you are a mother preparing for examinations or trying to do something maybe your child will be admiring you for your hard work right it can be like that as well or they will be seeing you as a person who is so good at dedication but they're not seeing yeah at that time understand that uh, the secret admire this child that is admiring you for your again this also feels like you know you're learning you are doing the work and your child is admiring you <laughs> it feels like that as well and they're not seeing that they admire you but they're looking at um, oh mama does so much of hard work now nah. like they're thinking about it so like that only sometimes uh, maybe your children are not open for some of you but they are really admiring you right now for that specific here <laughs> okay so keep on doing don't sell yourself short don't think that it's not possible for you that is all the things that you need to get rid of and uh, with the secret admirer um, again that's what the energy i'm picking here like someone in your family is admiring you or looking at your hard work actually they're very proud of you but they're not saying it Secretly, they're admiring you. It feels like that. So let's see what else from the tea leaves. Wow, look, again, you will get the success, guys. Look, success assured with good plans and hard work. That's the key here. That's the key because if this is an egg, it can crack. You need to protect it. You need to put all your energy onto this thing only. This is the time, guys. This can be examination or maybe there is an interview coming up, something that you have to prepare for. This is the time for preparation. Stay focused because you will have it. Okay. So let's see the final message here for group number one. Oh my God. Okay. So let's see the final message for group number one. Okay, you got two cards. Let's see what is the final messages. Morning dew, clarity of fresh start, a pos positive outlook. Every day waking up, you have to have that positive outlook. Yeah, today I'm going to do this. I'm going to learn this. That's it. That's it. That's all my focus is right now. That's all I have to give my attention to, right? So, yes, maybe you are someone who is busy. You are preparing for this examination as well as you have other duties. Do the duties. But maybe you have allotted some time for this thing. So, use that time. Don't let anything distract you. Uh, yeah. And have a positive approach. Positive approach is very much needed. Again, with this uh, uh, this dragon card, I'm feeling like sometimes you feel like that you, you cannot control this thing. You are not in power right some something yes you cannot control the outer circumstances but you cannot you can control how you look at things right how you see uh, see things in you right how you value yourself do you feel like you are uh, good enough to get this thing to pass this examination if so you will have it right come to me attracting like a rose receive abundance desire so this is one of your desires right again we have this b we have talking about b right and you've got a b is it clear i don't know I hope like the bee is there and there is this hummingbird as well. <laughs> so yes, so you need to attract this thing to yourself by working towards it. The more you are thinking positively towards this thing, nothing can, if you are just focused on this thing, this is coming true for you guys. You will harvest this thing, whatever this is. That's what the message is for you guys, group number one. Hope it made sense, hope it resonated. If I did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Let's take group number two. This is the image that you have chosen. Let's see what is the messages from B Spirit. Your harvest is coming soon. So what are you harvesting very soon? So that is the topic. Let's see what is the message here. Oh, look, a lot of, you know, a lot of shining, shine. So you're going to shine. For some of you, it's your glow up. Maybe you have been working on yourself, your body, uh, and you're seeing the results. So that's what uh, one thing I'm feeling. It feels like a you're shining you're like a star that is shining in the dark as well people will notice you in the dark you people will be noticing something about you maybe it's your work 
you've been noticed that's what it is so let's see what is the uh, what are you harvesting group number two what are you harvesting you are being noticed your glow up has been noticed the work you have been doing on yourself has been noticed yeah so let's see i feel like your people will be giving you a lot of respect a lot of value i'm not saying that they didn't value or given give you respect but now it will be like doubled okay people will be valuing what you have to offer uh, people will be will be wanting to spend more time with you like they will be enjoying your company because they feel like you have a lot to offer so let's see what are you harvesting group number two i'm hearing the song diamonds in the sky like the diamonds you're perfect the way you are and people even though maybe you don't see yourself as perfect but many people around you will be seeing you as who is very perfect who is very successful that's something i see here so a lot of uh, appreciation from other people i feel like you're getting that's what you're harvesting <laughs> So let's see, you've been seen, you've been recognized. Your work is recognized, your voice is recognized. You are recognized. That's what the energy is. So let's see what else for group number. I'm seeing a um, chair, you know, a chair. And a chair that has a lot of power. Like when we, it feels like an office where the CEO, CEO has a chair, right? Like that, that kind of energy, a chair, where you hold a lot of authority or power. So yes, um, that's what it feels like. For some of you, you're getting the much needed promotion um, or maybe level up in your work situation. If you have been trying to level up, I feel like your work will be recognized and you will finally get the appreciation that you have been wanting for. So let's see, what is it? It, it feels like now you're shining so bright that no one can, uh, even, even if they want to ignore you, they cannot because you're shining so bright. <laughs> that's what it feels like uh, you're addictive you're not, you're addictive you're becoming addictive people are addicted to you that I, I yeah I, something like that it feels like that your energy is like that because you are in high vibe so that you know many people will be attracted to you so let's see your vibe uh, yeah your vibe and all you got two cards okay look leader again that's why i was tears you have a higher position guys your words have a lot of impact on other people. Your, uh, what you have to offer will be, will have a lot of impact on people. Again, you are a beacon for others. You are a light to others. You're the shining light to others. You're, you're a person who's going to inspire other people. So maybe um, many of your gifts have not been uh, noticed. I feel like uh, that is going to be noticed. You are someone who works from your heart. You are. You're a very heart-centered person. You're in very touch with your emotions, right? And you've been working on yourself lately. I feel like for uh, for maybe for many years or maybe for some months, you have been focusing on your body. You have been focusing on yourself. You have been focusing on improving yourself, right? You have been working on your skills. You have been focusing on gratitude. You have been focusing on exercising, eating healthy, right? You have been focusing on yourself, not other people, right? So I see that's, that's what is coming into fruition, the work that you have been doing on yourself. You know, sometimes when we work on ourselves, we change our energy, we get into this high vibe. We, we become more confident in ourselves, isn't it? When we start working on ourselves, we feel confident. And I, I, I'm getting that you are in this energy where you're feeling confident in you, yourself. You're feeling confident in your own work. You're feeling confident that divine will take care of you no matter what, right? You have this so much of faith in the universe. And, and the words you talk, you know, the words, you know, because you have so much faith in the universe, you have been experiencing small, small miracles in your life. Already I feel like that, right? Small, small miracles. It's not a huge miracle, but small, small magical things. And you have been appreciating it. You have been acknowledging those small, small miracles in your life. Uh, and that's why with this love flows, uh, f flows through you and to you. You are you're full of love, guys. Your energy is very, very high. Your frequency, your vibration is of high, is of love. Love is the highest frequency. You're loving yourself. You're accepting yourself, right? And once we start accepting, no one's uh, projection, you know, no one, no one, whatever people say doesn't matter because we know who we are. And that's the energy I'm getting from you. So maybe you are someone who never thought 
yourself as a leader and that's why you used to sell yourself short now you have been working on yourself you have been understanding more about yourself you are understanding the potential you carry right and once we understand that we change uh it, it feels like an identity identity shift is happening uh yeah and um, you have been shifting you know inwards now people are seeing that and you're getting the acknowledgement you're getting the recognition you're becoming in the you're coming in this leader position where a lot of people are being impacted by the work by your ideas and yeah yeah we should do that we should do that you are like a light to other people again this shining light I, you know it's, it's like in the dark also your light light and again we have this fire you're going to show the way to other people so again this this way you know you you are becoming someone who has this leadership quality and who is taking charge and who has been responsible of people uh, you're helping other people to grow and as you help other people to grow you are growing and the you know you the, the way you are making other people grow is through love is through light right again your work is going to be recognized because whatever you do is you do from your heart finally uh, it feels like you're going to be in spotlight uh, you're going you're taking that leadership quality when a lot of people are following you appreciating your work and you're shining <laughs> uh, that's that's the energy again i, I told you i saw uh, so um, a chair so maybe for some of you you're getting in a higher position uh, and uh, the work you know the way you work is different you're not someone who is going to be very bossy you're not that person i feel like you're someone who wants to work with people in a very in a very peaceful way right because you are full of love so people the people who will work under you will be so happy to work with you and you will be appreciated for that as well they will be telling you how uh, how good a leader you are so yes you're shining you're in spotlight that's the thing your hard work is paying off so yes the work you have been doing you know all we need to do is work on ourselves and i feel like you have been doing that work and that's why you are you're leveling up you're aiming high i feel like you have been dreaming big and finally one by one things are coming into fruition so let's see and again this woman looks very beautiful to me so you have been working on yourself maybe you have been taking care of your skin body it's all showing it's all showing the finally the inner shift you had an inner shift i feel like that you had changed a lot inside of you finally as you show up as you do your work more people are noticing the change and more people are appreciating that so more people more people are attracted to you yeah so let's see what are you harvesting wow rukun you i feel like you're a shy person right and uh, uh, and you have been working on yourself you have you have been breaking yourself free from that thing yeah sometimes i i feel like you're not someone um, with this rakun that's what i'm getting you're not someone uh, who who is very extrovert i i feel like that right uh, so that's why maybe a reason you didn't see that you have the potential to be a leader to guide people but i feel like slowly but surely you have been working on yourself you have been getting out of that shell because you're very talented people right you have been you are very talented people and i feel like finally you're recognizing it and you're working on it and as you show your work more and more people are appreci appreciating your work yes i feel like you were you you got un, you know you, your work was getting unnoticed finally your work is becoming noticeable because it's it's shining so bright that no one can ignore it you know your skills are shining the the you know the words you share with so much of confidence it's shining people are getting impacted by it so yes that's the thing you're very highly skill, skilled people finally people are seeing that finally people are seeing that the work that you have been doing by yourself finally it's been seen it it was not seen it was secretive i feel like that you know because um, because it was this inner shift finally now people are seeing that from outside and appreciating you and your work whatever it is you have been noticed that's what it feels like that's the harvest here and we have the fish as well a lot of abundance here maybe for some of you your work is reaching again it feels like in social media when an influencer is trying their best showing their self many people didn't notice their skills but now you're getting no that that uh, no you know you're not being noticed for what you're doing so you have this uh, high views and all and so you're making more money so it it feels like that right more, more offers are coming to you and and i even feel like the work you're doing 
is something that is going to influence people in some way in a very good way it's, it's influencing and that's why it's putting you in this leader position where you're guiding people maybe you're not even realizing that how how you're guiding people you're guiding people to follow their heart in a way to not be shy yeah because maybe you're sharing your journey that you were shy you used to not share yourself and 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 you are you are doing it and and that's actually making other people realize that they can do it so somehow somewhere you're becoming a good influence on people more people are uh, appreciating what that's what it feels like okay so let's see more what else so oh, group number 2 what are you harvesting my shining stars <laughs> Oh, choices. When you accept uh, responsibility for your life ah, and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You will be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. Again, you know, inside and outside. So something that has been in, inside, you know, because sometimes we are shy, sometimes we are not confident. That's why we don't apply that. We don't take take action. I see it. see that you are making that choice to trust your intuition and take action and as you take action you're seeing this growth growth yes i feel like some of you have already trusted your intuition and you have been doing something different you have been getting out of your comfort zone and i see that that choice that you have made is going to give you a lot of fruition a lot of a lot of uh, clapping that's what i have i to say, i have to say like people are clapping because they you whatever you doing whatever you presenting it's such a beautiful thing so yeah it's impacting people yeah wow look we have empress wow look again you voting a new you you voting a new you it feels like that uh you're creating something of value that people are going to appreciate again if we look at the mother earth mother earth it's so beautiful and we are like feel so good when we are in mother earth right that's the vibe that you have you are offering to other people and that's why more and more and more people are attracted to you you're shining again empress is very beautiful beautiful kind of vibe is coming from you yeah so again empress is also harvest she has everything she has all the things she has uh, she she has a um, yeah it feels like a men of farmer harvest and they have the best harvest right they have all the things that they need they whatever they sowed they got it and that's the energy whatever you're sowing whatever you're working on wherever you're focusing your energy it's growing because you're doing it with love <clears throat> what is harvesting okay that's a lot guys what are you harvesting group number 2 Look, <laughs> seven of pentacles. Someone has like been doing the work, right? And you have been waiting for it patiently. And finally, with this empress, you're getting whatever you have been waiting for. You have been waiting for this thing to happen. It's your wish. Okay, again, this is something that you have been wishing for. This is something that you have been working for. You have been making the choice what you have to sew. Or you are only taking what you need to sew, and you have been doing that. And finally, that thing that you have been waiting for is working. out so this is something that you have been working on yeah again seven of pentacles sowing the seeds doing the work and being patient and waiting for the growth and finally you have been growing and you have been using the methods you know uh, methods with the king of swords look she is only taking the stars that's needed she is not taking everything right so she knows what she wants to sew so you have been very conscious with this thing right you you know that this is you, you again it feels like you have been very conscious with your words uh with your thinking with your thoughts you have been very positive with this thing and finally finally your patience your patience is paying off and finally you're getting the rewards that you have been waiting for yeah finally your dream your dream is coming true for some of you this position a position as i told i saw, saw a chair a higher position for some of you you want to influence people you want to grow your uh, social media account whatever it is you have been working towards it you have been doing your best every day working hard and finally you're getting it you have been coming out of your comfort zone you have been showing the you know you have been working with love uh, and at the same time even when there were disappointments you didn't back up 
you kept on going forward because you know this is your goal this is your dream and finally you're getting the rewards <coughs> wow nice let's see and you know interesting as you do this work your work is going to be appreciated you're going to be recognized but as you're working on this thing the amazing thing is like you're improving yourself as well as a person you're improving your personality is uh, improving uh, maybe your habits are getting better you're letting go of the sort of sort of addictions you've been working on yourself it, it feels as a personal transformation as well for many of you it's not only the work you know this work is not only helping other people it's actually changing you as a person it's actually improving your relationship your relationship with anything people with food uh, everything right it feels like that so let's see what is the harvest what, what are you harvesting group number two okay <clears throat> mice money will be coming to you so definitely money discord among, among friends or family right again uh, with this if there has been some money issues with family okay uh, if uh, you were fighting for certain things for money I feel like you are going to let go of it as you let go of these people who are fighting for money you will be making more money so yes don't engage in any fight with people regarding money or anything like that let go of it as you let go of money will be coming to you okay and other thing I feel like with this mice you know there are people uh, who will be looking at you and seeing you know they are not seeing your hard work so you are having this harvest season you're making money right as i told you're gaining that uh, recognition that for some of you i'm even getting fame okay so you're in this leadership position so these maybe if you're in an office you're getting that leadership position right maybe there will be people who will not like it they might feel like that they might feel like you've got lucky or something like that it's okay it's their problem you don't have to take them seriously <laughs> okay so that's one thing i feel like spirit is mentioning here or maybe in, there will be people in your family they will say that oh god you just got lucky right they're not they didn't see what you know the behind the scenes they didn't see how much work effort you have put in so don't take their words seriously enjoy the money that is coming enjoy the success that you're getting don't let anyone take that uh, that uh, feeling of happiness success from you okay <clears throat> so let's see what else oh we have april month okay you got a month also so maybe this is the month where you will be seeing the rewards happening your yeah the the things that you've been waiting for is going to come in fruition in the month of april maybe april is a very important month okay <laughs> we have secret admirer okay um, for some of you um, as i told many people will be loving your work loving your craft maybe you will be getting like letters from people who will just appreciate you or your beauty <laughs> like that okay for some of you as i told there is this glow up many people cannot ignore you because you're becoming that attractive so yes there will be admirers as well so let's see okay oh my god that's on the floor So we have, you need to defend yourself with the shield, okay? And we are talking about harvest, right? And I feel like uh, you're someone who is being very, very, very protected from universe, okay? Universe is protecting you. It feels like your intuition is going to be very strong. So trust your intuition because your intuition always protects you, okay? So let's see the final information. Oh my god that's a lot okay so let's see the final message for group number two about their harvest okay the rose garden again you're making a garden that's what it feels like right um, you know 
I'll just take an example. When we start a YouTube channel, we don't have anyone, right? So we are planting the seeds as the videos we are planting. And once we plant the seeds, we're getting more subscribers. We're getting more views and then we're getting more money. It feels like that. And you became, this channel is like your garden, like you have planted the seeds and it's going, going to grow. You have planted it with so much of love, so much of innocence. And, you know, as you're planting, as you're putting the videos, you are also improving your content, right? Uh, you're working on this thing. This is just an example. It can be anything in your office like as i told you have been uh, you got this job right you have been working on this job with love you have been uh, you have been learning so much and and you are aiming for higher position and finally um, the work has been seen it's been uh, you know it's it's like the work that you have been doing is seen is recognized and yes you are you are so amazing you need that the next next position because um, because your work is so uh, so good right you have that in you, like the leadership quality you have. You can, you can lead people, and people are seeing that, seeing that. So it's 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 the work that you have done on yourself. You have been, I feel like you've been working on yourself. You've been cultivating patience. Uh, you've been um, loving yourself, accepting yourself, and that's why this major glow up is there. And uh, as we accept ourselves, we understand more about our own potential, our own gifts, and that's why this abundance is coming. So it feels like growth, personal transformation. I feel like that's what you're harvesting. You're personally moving, growing. You're, uh, you're uh, leveling up in a way. You're getting this next position, this uh, authoritative uh, position. Okay, for some of you again, you're influencing people. Your, your, your work is being impacted, right? So because your work is gaining like huge many people are loving your work so that's that's giving you a lot of return but yes one thing is like there will be people who will not be that appreciative of that work and I feel like mostly these will be the people who are near you like your family members the yeah other people will be seeing but the people who are a little bit close to you they there are a little bit maybe some people that will not appreciate that and that's okay they will feel like you all got lucky so at that time when the, when you're dealing with these people, forgive them, right? Be gentle with yourself, because they they are just in. They don't know what work you put put in, how much effort you have put into this thing. They don't know, and that's okay. Uh, that's something that we don't have to prove, right? Yeah, sometimes some things we cannot prove. Even you know, we cannot make them understand because because they are not in that level of understanding. So let them go at that time, okay? So yeah, so your hard work is paying off something that you've been patiently waiting. You have been, again, look, you have been pursuing this like one at a time. You've been working on this thing. It's not something that you have not been working on. This is something that you have been dedicated. Yeah, you dedicated to uh, get that higher position, dedicated to uh, influence more people, dedicated uh, to grow your business, something like that. And you're getting the rewards, okay? More and more people will be liking your work. You are going to shine. No one, I, it really feels like you're shining so bright that no one can ignore your videos, right? That's, if you're someone who is a content creator, no one will be able to ignore your videos because it's so awesome. It's shy, it's like shining. It's, you know, whenever we look at the stars, the, the ones that are shining so hard, we look at it, right? It's not them, it's shining bright. So yes, you're being seen, you're being recognized. That's the... That's the message I received for you guys today. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Group number three, if you've chosen the this image, let's see what is the message from B-Spirit. Your harvest season is very soon. So let's see what is the, what are you harvesting, group number three. So I feel like movement. I'm getting the energy of chariot where there is positive momentum, movement happening. For some of you, this can be related to travel, maybe traveling. Uh, seeing different places that's something seeing the places that you haven't seen uh, for some of you I'm even getting like you will be in peace with your age if you have uh, if you had issues with your age or something like that I feel like you're finding peace there that is something I feel like is happening and maybe sometimes we think that because of my age I cannot do this I cannot do that and what you're harvesting is uh, whatever you thought that uh, because of you, your age you cannot do you will be doing that uh, and ancestral guidance, okay, you're, you're being guided by your ancestors. So let's see, group number three, what are you harvesting, group number three? Age is just a number, I feel like uh, you're getting there, like you're not 
uh, use, you know, you're not allowing anyone to use age to control you or you are not allowing yourself to control you because of your age. You're just living your life based on your heart. So maybe for some of you travel, you're not, um, you're not putting limitations on you. So that's why this movement is happening. Travel I'm getting. So let's see what are you harvesting. For some of you a new vehicle or maybe you never thought that uh, maybe you're of a certain age and you're, now you're going or uh, learning driving. Finally you will get the driving license. That's something that you're harvesting. That can be also the thing. Okay. So wow we have grace and gratitude. Through gratitude joy expands. So yes you're grateful for the life you have lived. You, you, I, I really feel like that. If you're someone who is older watching this, you're very grateful for everything that you have. And sometimes, um, sometimes we come into this energy and we start limiting ourselves because of our age. Oh, I'm in my uh, 40s, I cannot do, this is done by uh, people who do, does in 20s, right? Maybe in my 40s, I cannot uh, go to college. And this all limitations that you have, you are actually letting go of it. I feel like right now, because through, through gratitude, you know, I feel like you're letting go of those things. And as you let go of those things, more and more opportunities are being shown to you guys. So if there was some sort of limitations that you imposed on yourself because of age, uh, as you are letting go of that limitation, you will see the things that you wanted to do, but you stopped because you of your age or something like that you're going to be sh given that opportunities to move forward with that so take that that that, that opportunities once you take that opportunity things will move fast okay so that's what i'm getting here so the more you're grateful the more doors will be opening for you guys so I see that your energy is good. You are uh, grateful for the life you have. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, I, I be in that energy because when you are in this energy, because this is a beautiful energy. Gratitude can change anything and everything, right? The more we are uh, gr grateful for the life we have, the more we are at peace with the with wherever we are. Uh, you know, when the more we become peaceful with our own age, uh, with the way we look, you know, the more the more opportunities will happen, you know, and yes, whatever you want to do in your, uh, uh, if you want to do something that the people of 20s are doing and you want to do in your 40s and you have limited yourself, now you're getting the opportunities to do the exact things that that you want to do, but even though it's like the 20s people are doing, it's okay, it doesn't matter because you have the opportunity, you can do it and you can achieve it. So that's something I'm seeing here, don't limit yourself. Because universe is open, opening doors for you guys. Getting you are getting those opportunities. So uh, yeah, for some of you, a lot of travel opportunities as well. So be grateful. Be in this energy. Okay, this is a beautiful energy to be in. The more we are grateful for the life we have, the more opportunities. And start dreaming big. Don't let your age be an excuse for anything. Because the more you dream big, that all you can harvest here. So if you have a dream. Uh, related to travel, related to, to movement, maybe for some of you want to study something, anything like that or movement, moving to a different home or something like that, I see that happening for you guys. So let's see. Um, <clears throat> what is the message? What are you harvesting? Group number three. Wow, eagle rising above, right? Rising above your fears. Uh, eagle flies so high. Yeah, uh, eagle also, it's like it's an animal that doesn't fight. It's just going to uh, just going to fly high because they know their value. And once we know our value, no one can stop us from us from telling that you are of this age. You cannot wear that. This age. No, 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 no. I feel like what you're harvesting is like uh, you are living your authentic life, doing the things that you want to do and uh, it doesn't matter what age you are. You're, if you want to study something, you're going to do that. And even if people are screaming at you, telling you, what are you doing? This is not your age to do. You are not going to be bothered by it because you are in alignment with spirit and you know that you can overcome this thing. You're the, like the eagle. You're flying above. You're not. You're flying above the cli clouds. So you have a clear picture on what you want, what makes you happy. Uh, and you are doing exactly that and all these troubles and tribulations that you are facing you are going to overcome it um, yeah you are not going to be so fo focused on what other people are saying what the society wants you to do it's, it feels like you are finally realizing that what your heart wants that's what you want to do and through gratitude you are just understanding that very well and you are taking action you are becoming the eagle 
fly again eagle you know I'm, i was talking about travel there is definitely travel for you guys maybe there has been uh, there people might have told you now now it's not the time you're this age how can you relocate to some place but you're doing that right or maybe this is your age now you're going to study no you're going to do that if this is your age to dance you're going to dance right so it, it feels like that again for some of you you're in a certain age no one told you that you can uh, learn driving finally you're learning driving you're getting the driving license like that like that that's what the energy is it's uh, this net nitpicking things you're you're get, getting away from this nitpicky people who nitpick on small small things telling you do this do that do this you, you are away from these people and, and it feels like uh, you're living a life where you you are doing what you want it's feel it feels freedom for me yeah freedom that's what you're harvesting freedom to the to live the life the way you want and age gender doesn't matter you're uh, yes now it doesn't matter to you you're not taking that seriously you're releasing those kinds of nitpicky people that's what it feels like yeah so let's see what are you harvesting and I, you have the wisdom that it's that not everyone will understand what you're doing right not everyone will be okay with what you're doing and that's okay you're, you're coming into that energy maybe this was the thing that bothered you what others will say but now you have let go of that and you're okay you're fine with if people or you're not like everyone should like me no there will be people who will not like me and that's okay you're fine with it so let's see what else hope <clears throat> wow oh look the candle is burning bright um, and I, did I mention that your ancestors are there for you? The, yes, they are there. Yeah, even though in this journey, maybe you will feel sometimes you're alone, right? As you're doing, taking action, you're moving forward, you're traveling, you're doing something that is different, right? And you're going to get the results. But there will be times uh, when you will feel a little alone. At that time, you're not alone. Your ancestors, your spirit team is with you, okay? So don't worry. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you are at a low point. Whether you are caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. There is always hope. There is hope at this time, okay? You are um, meant to live your life the way you want and you're going to get that freedom. You're, you're harvesting freedom. That's what I feel like. A freedom to make decisions by yourself, not relying on other people. Maybe you're someone who has to uh, give, uh, get permission from other people to do something. And that's ending for you guys. And now you're getting that freedom. You're harvesting freedom, right? You're getting a lot of hope. Now you know exactly what you need to do. You're not, uh, not bound by the societal rules and all. You know, yes, there are some sort of things that are good that we can take from the society, right? From the religious practices we know about what good things we need to take but there are certain things that hold us back right and you're finally letting go of it but yes when you're letting go of those uh, there will be there will be people there will be people who will not like it and that's okay that's why uh, your spirit team is coming here uh, whenever you're feeling lonely whenever you're feeling at low point they are with you you are not alone okay <laughs> so let's see you're not going to self-sabotage yourself anymore. You have done that so long and now you're realizing that I shouldn't do it. Maybe for some of you, you are a little bit older uh, watching this. Uh, and yeah, uh, sometimes when we are younger, we are told that we have to be this. We can do this only, uh, you know, because of other people. Maybe you have self-sabotaged your own dreams, your own goals. And now you are taking action towards it. And as you take action towards it, you're going to get, get what you want, right? Um, again, it's studies. Yeah, it's, it's, there will be times when you will feel low. There will be struggling times, right, with this nine of swords energy. But you will make it. You will make it. So find that gratitude in the present moment. The more you find gratitude in the present moment, you are going to go away from these kinds of nitpicky people. <laughs> yeah, you're not here to be with nitpicky people telling you what to do, when to do. You are here to make your own uh, rules and follow that. <laughs> you are here to follow your heart because you are... Uh, because you are in this energy of gratitude. So whatever you will do for yourself is the best thing. You have listened to so many people, right? Nothing good came out of it. Finally, it really, you are trusting yourself. That's what it feels like. So you're harvesting like gratitude. It feels like you will be so grateful. You will feel grateful because as you're moving forward, you will be very grateful 
for the choices that you have been making lately, right? For some of you, it's like learning driving at this age. Maybe you have you haven't learned because people told that women are not good drivers, something like that. You know, sometimes uh, we take it very seriously, or maybe you'd learned once and things didn't happen, and finally now you are going again for that thing, and you're getting the driving license, and you're driving car very beautifully, like something like that. It's just an example here. So let's see what else. Yes, again, look again, it feels like with this nine of swords energy, you were so afraid what other people will uh, say about you with this, all this eyes. You were so, uh, you know, maybe you failed in the past and sometimes people say something that you failed. And and and, and what happens when once we face a failure, sometimes we are not ready to take chances. We are not ready to get out of our comfort zone because there's a fear of failures. And that's why you have wasted a lot of years, I feel like. And now you're like, no, I cannot waste <laughs> any of my years because of this feeling that what others will say about my failure i am here to take action on the thing so you are here conquering your fear moving away from your fear moving away from these people who uh, judge you and uh, living a life that you want to live doing something that you want to do and once you do that you're going to get that harvest you're going to get the outcome that you want that's what spirit is telling here so let's see you're conquering your fear. <laughs> Look, travel. There is definitely travel with this world here. Again, two different energies. Look, what is the difference between these two energies? Nine of Swords. She's like, oh, what other people will say? What they will talk about me if I do that? If I feel people will judge me? You know, sometimes it's the it's the feeling of shame, guilt, what other people will say. And sometimes we self-sabotage ourselves because of it. And here you're becoming this world car. World, like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm here to fly high. I'm here to see the world. I'm here to make my wishes come true because I'm the only one can that can make my dreams come true. No one else can do that for me. And even if they're thinking like that about me, I don't care. I just want to see places. I want to uh, age gracefully. I want to do the things that I have, have been wanting to do because of, because of, you know, with this nine of swords, because of my fears, I haven't been taking action. Finally, I'm taking actions. So that's what it feels like here. Uh, yeah. So let's see the treaty leaf cards. What are you harvesting? It feels like you're harvesting confidence and letting go of your fear and rising above like a phoenix, right? And focusing more on gratitude. So let's see, what are you harvesting? Uh, yeah. Oh, look, you're uh, again, you're trusting, you're again the eagle, you know, you're moving away, you're flying away. You know that there is no use of making these people understand uh, about me and I'm not doing that. I'm just going to trust my intuition and take action. I'm just going to follow my heart because I haven't been doing that. I have been focusing on what others will say and I have been ignoring my in intuition. Now I cannot do that. So your intuition is going to be very strong here. So trust it. Uh, finally, oh, involvement with the lawyer. Interesting, you know, it feels like you're getting the justice. If you're working on something, you're getting it back because you're trusting your intuition and taking action. So there had there has been times when you took action, you didn't get anything in return because you were operating from fear, not from faith, not from gratitude. But now the energy has shifted. You're working from uh, gratitude. So if you want to, you know, when we want to have a, when we want to manifest a car, right? You want to manifest a car in, the, you know, when we were like two or three years before you try to manifest a car and it didn't happen. The reason was because you were seeing the failures of the car. Oh, the far, car is so bad. I'm not, uh, why this car? Why I'm driving this car? You know, not being grateful. But now you are in this energy where you, even though you are driving an old car, you're like, I'm grateful for this car. Thank you, car. Thank you for driving me. Thank you for taking me to places, right? And once we start doing it, we get what we want. So that's, that's when the energy, op you know, the doors open. You're getting new car. That's what exactly I feel like. Your energy has shifted. You're not focusing on what others people say. Rather focusing on intuition. And as you do that, you're taking action and you're getting the return. You're getting the return with this justice. For some of you, you're being freed from some sort of court issues that was making you fearful. So finally, the verdict is there. And uh, I feel like you're getting uh, freed from this thing. Again, the world card and the involvement with law. So if there was something involvement with law, with justice, if you were fearing something, uh, you're getting freed from this thing with this world card you will be happy with the results okay yeah camel 
look again perseverance and you will overcome your problems you are overcoming slowly but surely you are uh, you are taking action again with a camel you are not going to reach the destination without hard work so even though it's just this mindset was somehow blocking you from taking action finally that mi- mindset has gone now you are taking action and i feel like you are someone who is not afraid of hard work as well you know that it will require hard work and you are ready and you know that you will be able to overcome the problems so keep on moving forward because you will reach where you need to reach okay so let's see the final message for group number 3 what are you harvesting a free life an independent life i feel like that that's what you harvesting group number 3 uh, finally living on your own terms not worried about what people are saying and for some of you if there was something holding you back a contract or anything you've been freed from that now you can fly high anyways let's see the final message for group number 3 independence you are harvesting independence you are becoming the boss of your own life you are trusting your intuition that's the thing you're not waiting for other people's orders you're not waiting for other people's decision you're making your own decisions taking action and yes it's when we do that uh, the road is not going to be easy you will have to go through the struggle see there will be times when you will feel lonely but there are your spirit team helping you right and you will reach the destination persevere and you will reach but if there is something that has been heavy for you guys with this law thing you've been freed from that thing okay oh again i talked about ancestors when i started your reading did i talk about ancestors there is an ancestor there is a grandmother for you guys you're not alone here she is helping you she is protecting you okay wow that's beautiful and we have uh, we are nature becoming grounded embodiment living in connection again sometimes we lose that connection with nature because we are so focused on what other people say we we uh, we forget our own roots isn't it we forget who we are we just uh, we just again with the snide of sorts we are living in fear we are not connected to our roots we are uh, we are in survival mode because we are not trusting our intuition we are fearing small small things and uh, we are not aligned with our heart and that's why we are making the decisions that are not good for us right we are self sabotaging us and here i see the change maybe you have self sabotage so many things in your life but now you know what you need to do exactly and yes this is the start of your free life like freedom that's what independent life uh, and uh, yeah i'm not saying that there will be no challenges there will be challenges but you will have the strength to overcome these challenges so yeah so that's the message here but you're very connected to your ancestors there is a grandmother who is with you helping you to move forward uh, she is giving you hope so trust that be in this gratitude energy the more you are in this gratitude energy you are going to make it happen whatever you want at any age you can make it happen <laughs> okay so that's what i am getting here for group number 3 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye